Hello students, welcome to Sort of Sir's classes. This video is Geometry Part 1. Now here we will be doing some of the series of videos on geometry in which we will be covering some of the important theorems on geometry and based on those theorems we will be solving some of the examples. So now let us start with the first theorem we will be studying in this video and that one is ratio and proportion theorem so this is ratio and proportion proportion theorem okay this theorem has another name and that is the area lemma so the another name that this have is or area lemma so now let's start with this ratio and proportion theorem now this theorem states that if there is any point d on the side bc of triangle abc so let's first draw a triangle abc so that this is our triangle abc a b c and d is any point on the side bc so let us take d as this point on the side bc so if we join a and d then we are what we are getting is we are getting two triangles the first one being a b d and the next one being a d c so these are the two triangles that we are getting here so this ratio and proportion theorem it says that if D, our D is any point on side BC of triangle ABC, then this area of triangle ABD, okay, this symbol where this triangle's notation are enclosed in a squared bracket, this means area of area of triangle a b d so then area of triangle a b d is to a d c that is the ratio between the areas of a b d and a d c this is proportional to b d and d c b d DC. So the ratio between the areas of triangle ABD and ADC, so the ratio between the areas of these two triangles, it is proportional to BD is to DC. So now let us prove this theorem. Now for this what we have to do is we have to construct a perpendicular AE. So we have to construct AE that is per perpendicular to BC. So that means if AE is perpendicular to BC then this AE it is nothing but height of this triangle ABC so it is also the height of triangle ABD and triangle ADC so if we take the ratio between the area of triangle ABD and ADC so if we take the ratio between the area of ABD and ADC ADC so this equals to for ABD it would be half into okay area of triangle is half into base into height its base is BD and its height is AE so it's half into BD into AE divided by again half into the base for triangle ADC is DC so it's dc into again ae so 
we will be only left with BD divided by DC. So, hence it is proved that the ratio between the area of triangles ABD and ADC it is proportional to the ratio between the, the length BD and DC. So, we have proved it. Now, let us solve this following question. Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD and the diagonals of this quadrilateral AC and BD they intersect at M. So, they are intersecting at M and we have to prove that area of triangle AMD. So, for simplicity let us name it as 1. So, this area of triangle 1 into area of triangle BMC. So, BMC is this area number. So, let's name BMC as 2. So, area of triangle AMD, we are renaming it as 1 into area of triangle BMC. This BMC, we are renaming it as 2 for simplicity. This is equals to area of triangle DMC. DMC, so this is the third one. So, this is the third one and into area of triangle AMB. So, this is the fourth one. So, we are renaming it as fourth one. So, area of triangle 1 into 2 is equals to area of triangle 3 into 4. So, in for simplicity, we have renamed this as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, let us now prove this. Now, if we take into consider triangle A, B, D. So, we are taking into consideration this triangle A, B, D, this triangle. Now, here, using the ratio and proportion theorem we have learned just now. So, using ratio and proportion proportion theorem we can say that the ratio between the triangle areas of triangle a b m is to triangle a m d so area of triangle a m b divided by a MD this is proportional to or it is equals to this ratio is equals to MB divided by MD so let us take this as equation number one or from here we can say this we have renamed AMB as 4 and this AMD it is so 4 divided by 1 it is equals to MB by MD. Uh, so we are also taking this as equation number one. So now if we take into consider triangle this C B D. So we are taking into consider triangle C B D. So using same ratio and proportion theorem, we can say that the area of triangle C M B so CMB, this is divided by the area of triangle CMD. CMD, it is equals to MB divided by MD. Or the CMD, we have renamed it as area of triangle 2 divided by this CMD, we have renamed it as 3. So 2 divided by 3, it is equals to again mb by md so let's rename it as equation number two now from one and two we can write so from one and two we can write four divided by one is equals to two divided by three so if we cross multiply we will have one into two is equals to three into four or if we replace it by the original 
areas that is we have renamed it as 1 2 3 4 so one is triangle amd so area of triangle amd is e into area of triangle b and c is equals to number three is area of triangle dmc into area of triangle amb which is our which is the thing that we have to prove so here we have proved it so we have done with the proof and we have done this proof using the ratio and proportion theorem so this is it for this video and we will continue with other theorems in the next video thank you